is our Spotlight Artist of the Week, Tori Martin with Restless Soul. It is a big, big, big show with Taylor. And Uncle Rich. Happy Friday to you. And as you can tell, Rich is on the phone for this part of the show because uh, he yeah. keeps on malfunctioning when we're on Skype. So, Yeah, hey, I was just uh, I was just singing some Taylor Swift for the baby. Yeah. You heard what happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she still doesn't like Taylor. We're going to have to change that. But I guarantee, I bet, I bet if I played some Restless Soul, Tori, Tori Martin for her, I bet she would like it. Yeah, she probably would. She would. Speaking of Tori I, Martin, she is on the show today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Tori Martin. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, how are things in, uh, how are things in Texas today? What's the temperature? Sure. Um, I'm not sure what the temperature is, but I can guarantee you it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> as, is, as is always the case in Texas. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, so, uh, Tori, we want to welcome you to the show. Tori uh, is, uh, is a recording artist. Uh, you are actually from Texas, right? Yes. Okay. I live in a small town called Hazel. <laughs> Azel. Azel, yes. Azel, Texas. A-Z-L-E, yeah. Azel, Texas. Now, have you lived there your whole life, or did you move there at a, at a later date, or have, have you, were you born there and raised there? Oh, no. I was born in Florida, and oh. I've lived all over. I'm like a gypsy soul. I swear I've lived in South Carolina, <laughs> Louisiana, Arkansas. You name it, I've been there. I've lived there. And then I moved to Texas when I think I was like seven or six. I can't remember exactly, but around that age. <laughs> great, great. Awesome. So, uh, Tor, you've been singing uh, since a young age. Um, when, did, when did you actually uh, and how did you get started singing? Well, I've always... Sing. I started singing when I was like born. I could sing before I could talk, and everybody talks about that. Mm-hmm. But when uh, I was like eight years old, I got my first guitar, and I didn't want an acoustic. I wanted an electric, and it, I mean, you really need to start out on acoustic, but I didn't care. My grandpa got it for me anyway. And then I was in the Texas Girls Choir when I was like eight years old, which is really hard to get into, and I made that. And so I, music has always been my passion and my dream. And then when I was 14, I was singing in a church out in Texas. It was like, it's outside of Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. And this producer, he's a Grammy Award winning producer, and he's worked with Dixie Chicks and Sting, and I mean, his list, it goes on and on. And he heard me, and he just heard my raw talent, and he was like, hey, you've got something, and I would love to help develop that and help you succeed and pursue your dreams. And so at about 14, when I started training and getting into music theory and vocal lessons, and I mean, I I was classically trained as a vocalist, so you know. Oh, you were classically. You were classically yeah. trained. Yeah, they they wanted to give me. They were like, you should get a good foundation first, and then you can go into country music. And I was like, all right, all right, all right. This is hard, but I'll do it. And I did it. And I'm awesome. so glad I did it. <laughs> that 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 is awesome. And I didn't know about the Dixie Chicks and the Sting Sting connection. I was just telling her how we. I was talking to Nish, my friend Nish Hernandez, who, who mm-hmm. worked with Eddie Galan, who's another Grammy, yeah. uh, you know, nominated uh, Billboard Music Award winning artist this morning. And and her and and Nisha actually are now connected on Twitter, which is is really cool. But nonetheless, yeah. now who really inspired you to uh, to get to, to to get into music? I mean, because I talked to you the other day, and you said you, you don't really come necessarily from a musical family, which is is mm-hmm. is usually usually it's a little different than that. Usually, you know, it's kind of in the genes. So, how did you get inspired to get in, into music? Was somebody in your family or someone else? I don't know. I think, uh, I, I honestly, it's just natural. It's just this natural tendency, like tendencies for since I was a little girl. And I, I always had a passion for music. And I think music just kind of got me through the rough parts of my life. And that's why I can remember music being there and it stepping in. And my papa, he was a huge inspiration to me because he kind of raised when I was little. And, uh, and back in the day, he owned like a country western, um, uh, saloon kind of bar. Oh wow! I, I, I wasn't yeah. I wasn't present then, but <laughs> but he <laughs> would always run that like kind of a nightclub thing, and uh, he loved country music. And so I remember I would always like be around him and around the record player, and he would have Tammy Lynette in there, and he kind of raised me on the classics of country, and mm-hmm. we'd drive out to like his hunt and lease, and, <laughs> and we'd right. listen to John Cash and just the classics. So he really inspired me and and raised me on the classics of country, and so that's why I just. Country music right. and one. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. 
Taylor, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Um, I'm just making sure you haven't fallen asleep yet. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor's good at that. He likes to fall asleep on the job. Anyway, Taylor, <laughs> Taylor, go ahead. Uh, do you have a favorite country artist that you uh, look up to for inspiration? My favorite country artist is Dolly Parton. Mm-hmm. I love, love, love Dolly. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, she had told me that the other day too, and and now, um, what is it necessarily about Dolly? Is it just her voice, or is it just kind of her? It, it, is, is, is everything the whole, her whole character? I love her heart, and I love her ability as a musician. You know, because she songwrites and she plays guitar and she sings. She does the whole nine yards, and I love how passionate she is about her music. And I, I read her book not too long ago, and it said that she wants to die playing music she's like I don't care she's like I'll be so happy if I'm 90 years old and I walk out on the stage and I'm playing my guitar and I'll, I'll lay on the ground and die you'll just see a big smile on my face and I'm like that's how I feel <laughs> oh <laughs> that's somewhere. awesome yeah that is that that's awesome and she uh you know she constantly writes one of the things I know about Dolly is she's constantly writing music she t- I mean I've seen her talk about it she's talked about how sometimes she'll write eight or nine songs a day I mean mm-hmm. and she just really gets that wow. inspiration and she can just do it you know, like that, back to back to back to back, and so, um, so that's an amazing thing. Now, you you are also writing your own music now. Is that correct? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Wow. So you write, you do, you do the, whole, you do the lyrics, you do the the notes, you do the whole. The yeah, whole I write. I write with uh, different people. You know, sometimes that the person I write with most is uh, his name is Billy Herzog, and he actually had a hit back in the day. It was called uh, "Right from the Start," and. Uh, and so he's been a writer for Sony and Wonder Brothers and Carol. Right. And so it was kind of cool to meet him and start writing with him because I was just kind of like, when I first met him, I was just kind of like, hey, um, I kind of like to write, but I don't really know what to do. And so he kind of just brought it out of me and it's helped me. And we write together a lot and write good songs. <laughs> right, right. Now you wrote Restless Soul, which is your new single. Tell us a little bit about uh, about that song and what the inspiration for that song was and... Yeah, I wrote that song with Billy, actually. Um, uh, we were in this little kind of garage studio out in Arlington, Texas, and it was by this huge freeway, and uh, I don't know, he was just playing on his guitar, and he kept playing this riff over and over, and I mean, you can hear, like, you know, the trucks going by, the cars going by, and the horns honking, and I just kind of got inspired, and I was like, hey, let's write a truck driving song. I was like, I know there hasn't been one in a long time, but <laughs> let's do this. Why not? <laughs> And so I just kind of came up with the idea of restless soul. And I think anybody that is a hardworking person or a musician or any any time that you, you know, spend your life putting into something you love, I think you can relate to being restless soul sometimes. <laughs> yeah, 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 that is, that's, uh, that's definitely true. Now, um, can you tell our listeners how they can actually get the song? Yeah, it's on iTunes, mm-hmm. it's on... You can go to Facebook and, you know, see all that good stuff. And oh, yeah. if you probably, I'm probably just putting Google, it'll pop up. But it's on mm-hmm. iTunes and on Spotify and Amazon, all that good stuff. So mm-hmm. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I, you probably, yeah, I'm sure you can get it probably at the Google Play Store. You can get, or Google, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I, I'm sure it's available. And, I, and it's also, if you subscribe to Spotify, which I'm, we're Spotify lovers at the station. Yes. <laughs> uh, and they work, work, they work with us, so we we support them. But but anyway, that you can listen to the song, and we will of course uh, continue to play the song. Yay! Thank you. Uh, as, as well, and uh, so so people can go to any of those sites and actually get to listen to the song. Yeah, definitely. And if you're in Texas, you can request it on most stations out here. So. And you can always yes. request it. All you got to do is send us to Twitter. And it's not yes. just in Texas. We're in Kentucky. You know, we're right up in Cincinnati. We're actually so. everywhere, so. <laughs> yeah, we're actually everywhere. We actually go around the world. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I don't want to say it. I don't want to make anybody in Texas mad. But, I mean, that's kind of bigger than Texas, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how Tori feels about that. <laughs> go around the world. <laughs> we, do, we do air around. We do air around the world, but. You know, we, 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 you know, we hear from people too, Tori, uh, amazingly so in all kinds of different countries. So, you know, it's, yeah. it's kind of cool to know, you know, like, yeah. yeah the other day I saw someone from Japan bought Rest of Soul and I was like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so, we. I'm so fascinated by that. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, they, 
it's very possible they heard it on our show because we do like it. I, I was t- telling you the other day, there's now this soccer team in Brazil that has sent me something saying that they listen to our show before they go out on the field. And I, they, they connect with country music somehow, you, you know, so they listen to us and they go out and they've been having some success. So it was really cool to hear from them. So, you know, it, I mean, your music is now getting is now getting some airplay uh, globally, which is nice, and I'm, I'm sure that's the case, too. And, and those, they, those fine stations in Texas, they, um, you know, I know I know the ranch, and uh, I also know about the Big, about big Star. And, and so you have, there's something coming up in Texas, uh, is it next month, is it in June, or is it in July? It's in July. July it's in July. in July. Right. And you have been nominated for it now. It, 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 Country music in Texas is huge. Like when I'm talking about Big Star or the Ranch, these are stations that play primarily nothing but Texas-based country artists, and they're, 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 the stations are really, really big. They're really popular there because pe- yeah. obviously people in Texas, you know, they love listening to some homegrown artists. And, and oh, yeah. Texas, uh-huh. the Texas style kind of uh, embodies a style all on its own, mm-hmm. uh, you know. So. So tell us a little bit about what you're nominated for, because I think it's really big, and I I uh, happy for you. So what's what's Thanks. that about? Yeah, I'm so excited. Um, uh, the Big Star '97 Awards are on July 21st at Whiskey Girl Saloon in the Stockyards, and uh, I'm up for two nominations. I'm nominated for New Female Vocalist of the Year, and then I'm up for a promotion. Award for promoting those so much, and so that that means a lot to me too because I spend a lot of time promoting people, and I love doing it. It's fun. <laughs> and you do, and you've been doing. I noticed, like you, like our our other two contestants for this week, the Harold Sisters, and uh-huh. also Matt Van Foss, and mm-hmm. you guys have been chatting back and forth on Twitter, and I've noticed that, and you all have been sharing the love, and I think that's just incredible. That is so nice to see, and that's really kind of that's what I love about the whole country spirit is that people in country radio really tend to pull for each other. And I'm mm-hmm. not saying that, that it doesn't happen in other in other um you know, in other formats, but 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 yeah. but it's just it's kind of a country thing. And uh, you know, the Herald Sisters, they're a young group of they're they're very young, you know. Uh, I've actually so sang pro- with them. <laughs> really? Oh, you sang with the Herald Sister? Yeah, they're from Oklahoma and they came out we sang at the Great Vine Opry together. And uh, they came out one time, and we were just there at the same time for the same show. And so I met them, and they're really stinking cute. They're adorable. And, and they're, they're young. They're, yeah, they're young, young, and they're really so young. cute. Yeah, they're and they're and scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you know what? I just saw the video. I just saw the video for that yesterday because I was mm-hmm. going through, and I was like, I was trying to figure out, you know, like just trying to listen between them and and Matt. Uh, who is another incredible artist who's from Ohio, by the way. So, you know, great, great country artists do come from Ohio, and Matt is mm-hmm. that. But, uh, uh, that I was, you know, looking at some YouTube videos between both them and him and the Herald Sisters, and they're both amazing artists, but they're just so young and they are so stinking cute. You are absolutely right. Yeah. And they write yeah. some of their own music now, too, the Herald Sisters do. So, yeah. I didn't know that. I actually honestly did not know that. So, that's pretty amazing, you know. And mm-hmm. you've still been pulling. You've been helping Matt too. I know. I've seen your mom too. Uh, oh, yeah. I know your mom a little bit. I know she's been pulling for Matt too. So that's really incredible. That, you know, that's really what it's all about. And uh, we're we're happy to be doing this new country artist thing. It it seems to be taking off. And uh, I we certainly couldn't be prouder of you. And uh, mm-hmm. we are no. We're going to be playing new music for a long time to come. You can Thank continue you so to hear Restless Soul. Taylor, do you have any any more questions, Bud? Um, do you have any questions for us, Tori, at all? Yeah. Um, I, I don't really have any questions for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the end of every interview... I talked to Rich a bunch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she talked to me and, me and Tori have been talking yeah. Uh, throughout yeah. the week. Yeah, and so... I like have needed, like, all of the, the scoops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, uh... So, we are so excited to have had you on the show today. We will continue to play your music we will uh, continue to promote your name and good luck with all those wonderful things that are happening in texas taylor anything else um actually before we go um tori anytime we do an interview with somebody on our show we'd like to do i think rich forgot okay. about this yeah you forgot didn't you rich you just completely do it there you go <laughs> take it away <laughs> we do this thing where rich and i anytime we have an interview on the show we like to do what we call a fast five where we like 
ask quick questions and you have five seconds to answer. Oh, God. So, <laughs> it's really easy. It shouldn't be too, too difficult. So um, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, last time I started it off, I think. So, Rich, I'm going to have you start it off this time. Favorite food? Um, cookies. <laughs> cookies. <laughs> That's a new one. Okay, go ahead, Kay. Um, who is your favorite male country artist? Um, Lee Bryce. He's cute. <laughs> oh, wow, new yeah. artist. Yeah, Lee, Lee Bryce. Bryce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Parking Lot Party, by the way. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, Great record. Yeah. Uh, Taylor, do you get the next one? Um, what is your favorite city to visit? Nashville. Of course. <laughs> of course, <laughs> yes, yes. And then second would be Cincinnati. Have you ever been to Cincinnati? That would be the no, next I one. No, I haven't. Okay, you, okay. you should, you should yeah. really come. We have great food. We do. And great ice cream. We have here. good food, too. You should come to Texas. Oh, you yeah. Would, but we have, <laughs> I, think our, I think our Cincinnati chili may be superior to Texas chili. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. Maybe. But our fried chicken will beat yours. Oh, I bet. I love you fried got chicken. That. I bet. Uh, Kay, they, that's all Taylor. Taylor eats chicken and pizza. And ice cream. And, uh, and, and, uh, and, uh, and the, last, uh, the last question, if you could play anywhere in the world, where would it be? Mm, New York. I've never played there. Awesome. New York. Good one of my, actually, one of my favorite cities to visit. I love New York. New York, yeah. He yeah. has a sister that's an actress in New York. She's actually coming home this weekend. So she she's going to summer with us. So. <laughs> awesome. But... but it has been awesome talking to you today, Tori. I'm sorry I forgot to tell you about the past five. Uh, Taylor, <laughs> Thanks so much for Taylor having me. threw me under the bus, the subway, the uh, you know, with all that. Great interview. <laughs> was what was that, Taylor? I said it was fun. <laughs> I was yeah, laughing. It, of course, you <laughs> he were. was laughing. Anything you can do to embarrass me, he's going to do it. Just oh yeah, thank, <laughs> thank on it. So uh, when you get to Cincinnati, we hope to see you. You know. Uh, uh, we last week Chase said he wants us to come hang out in, in in Tennessee. So maybe when you get up to Tennessee and and he, you know, we can hang out with both you guys. Or better yet, I want to go. We, we all say we want to take a tour on the tour bus. That would be fun. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so great to talk to you. Tell your mom Tammy I said hello, a big Texas hello to all my Texas friends oh, yeah. and uh, and we will uh, we will talk to you soon. And good luck with that award. Big Star Award next month in uh, down in, in I guess Fort Worth. So down in the is it the Dallas area? Am I right? Stockyards. Stockyards. Part of music, country music in Texas. That's in <laughs> Texas. That's right, the Stockyards. So, all right. Well, good to talk to you today, Tori. Hey, it was great talking to y'all. Thank you so much for uh, having thank me. Thank you. No, no, no problem. Bye bye.